we're gonna head out here to the arena. I'm gonna show you exactly how we tie up horses from the very beginning um, to make sure that we set them up for success. And so we've got a horse that has only been here a week. She's just getting touched this week. She's a completely wild Mustang that is, uh, today is her seventh day being here total. Um, Gavin, a student of mine, is putting the work in on her. I'm overseeing, mentoring him, showing him the process. And I'm going to show you exactly how we have this set up to where we can teach this horse to stand tight, to be safe, to not get hurt, to not get injured, and ultimately to be able to find that release and not develop lifelong problems like pulling back and all sorts of that silly stuff, right? So let's go over here. I'm going to show you what we got going on. Hopefully this will help you and your horse. If it does, be sure to hit that follow button, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Let us know if you have any questions, what you thought of the video, um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and whatever. All right, guys, let's get to it. Here she is. She is a little gray five-year-old horse from Oregon. She's a complete wild Mustang. Um, or <laughs> probably at this point getting close to formerly wild. Uh, she looks like a little unicorn. She's super cute. And I think he's going to name her Nova, but I'm, you guys will hurt. I'll let him announce it before, I t before we announce it on here. And so what you guys will see is that she has a lead rope, a long lead rope that's snapped to her halter. And then it runs up Gotta get this right because it's all backwards. Runs up to this joist um, where these two, where this metal is, and we run that rope through the middle there, and then it runs down right there, tied to that fence. Right. So if anything ever did happen, right, where this horse might fall down, uh, might get themselves in a real predicament, we have it tied. We have the rope tied to where we can release that rope, get the horse, uh, make sure the horse is safe. So we're always taking safety precautions, but here's the thing. The horse is tied up to a rope that is elevated, right? It's completely elevated. So when the, if the horse sat back on it, it's gonna pick up on the base of that horse's jaw and then the horse, it's not gonna pull on the pole, right? So many people don't realize how much harm it can do to a horse to have all that pole pressure and ultimately cause a lot of damage to that central nervous system. Um, and even research is finding it's causing undiagnosed lamenesses in horses because of previous damage done to the horse and oftentimes due to pulling back. So by making sure that halter is properly placed up underneath that horse's jaw and then the horse tied in an elevated position, if the horse ever did get in a predicament where the horse pulled back, that it's going to pick up on the base of the jaw. It's not going to put the pressure on the pole of the horse nearly as much. And then the horse is more apt to be able to um, come off that pressure, right? You know, one way to really get a horse hurt when you're first teaching them to tie is to tie them to a post that is like this out here that is more level because when they sick that and they pull back, they can lock up in the stifles. So that's a big, big problem. The big thing that everyone needs to understand though, is that the key to successfully getting horses to where they will tie up safely is doing proper preparation, getting the groundwork done to help these horses understand how to actually move off of pressure, how to be able to have the mindset where they can stand patiently, setting them up for success. But yes, even giving them a hay net in the beginning, if they're going to be standing there tied for an extensive period of time, having a water bucket to where what we do is we'll enter, we'll change these out, right? This horse is part of the Mustang makeover deal. It is a long process. We're working with these horses a lot during the day, but we want to make sure we're keeping them healthy, right? And over time, she'll be able to stand there with nothing to do, right, for a certain period of time and be completely fine and not dig a hole, right? But it's about understanding, working with the horse from exactly where they're at, doing what you have to to get that horse properly prepared, going through your groundwork. And if you're sitting there going, I don't really know what groundwork I should be doing, I will link um, a free ebook down below. It has video access to the first five exercises that I teach all of my horses, which is exact exercises that we have taught this mare right here to get her prepared to be tied. So I'll link that down below if you like that or you can get the link in my bio. And we're just here to help you guys as much as we possibly can. So let us know what questions you have. Um, hopefully this quick tip helps you and we look forward to riding with you guys sometime down the road. All right guys, Colton Woods here with Goldman's Horsemanship and the Professional Horseman School. You can find out more information about that down below. We'll see you next time.